Hi everyone, Notion just released a game-changing feature where you can add Notion buttons as a database property. We are thrilled to start working with this feature and we'd love to give you all a first look at it. You can basically add button automation directly into your databases. It's particularly useful for board view, but we're excited to see all of the possibilities. If you find our video useful, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. So let's dive right in. So to show you a first glance at Notion's database buttons, we're just going to go ahead and show you several use cases. So let's go ahead and first create a database here. So we're gonna type slash database and we're going to choose board view, which we think is one of the best ways to show how Notion database buttons could work. So let's go ahead and add plus new database. And this is going to be, for example, a sample projects database. And let's say that each of these cards is a project. So we're going to name this project one. And we're going to add a property called a person. And it's going to be called approved by. So let's say that you want to add a button here that would automatically approve the project and it would also mark it with the person who approved it by. So now this is totally possible by adding a button. So now you can add plus add a new property button. And as you can see, it's a new feature and we'll name this approve. And when someone clicks on this button, we want to edit the status first of all to done. And then we want to edit the approved by and we want to replace it with the person who clicked the button. And now if we close this up and we can show these properties here by clicking here and then showing approve and approve by. So now let's say that I'm going to approve this project. We can just click approve and it goes straight to complete and it's approved by the person who just clicked the button. So this is a really cool new feature. The other way that Notion explained these database properties is by showing that you can add a task directly inside of another database, for example. So we can type slash database and we'll choose a table view for this one and plus new database. And let's say this is a sample tasks database and we're gonna relate it to the project. So we're gonna do relation and we will link it to the sample projects database, show on sample projects and add a relation. So now let's say that we move this back to to do and we clear everything. And let's say that we're going to link this with project one and this is called task one. So now we can go to project one to see if it's here and we can choose to show this as minimal. So now let's try to add a button that would add a task to this project. So we're gonna click plus add a property button and we're going to name this add new task. And we can choose to add a page to sample tasks like this and then we're going to edit another property, which is going to be the sample projects database. And we're going to select this page and we're going to add another step, which is going to be to open the page and we're going to select the new page added. And then we can click out and test it out. So if we go back here and let's say that now we show the add new task button, and we want to add a new task to this project. We can click on it and it's going to add new task. And now if we click out, we'll see that this new task has been added to our sample tasks list. So this is another really cool way you can add these buttons. And we're so excited to experiment more and see where we can add these database property buttons. So we hope that you enjoyed this very quick look into Notion's database buttons property. What are your thoughts on this? Have you already started trying to use it? And let us know if you have any comments, questions, or anything that was confusing in this video. And we hope to see you in the next one.